Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode on Finding Griffey. It's been a while. Cards and coffee on a Sunday. Yep. Haven't posted anything all week since last Cards and Coffee. It's been busy. He's been What's... busy doing Christmas things. <laughs> Christmas things. What, what have we been doing? Not Christmas things. Um, we've done some Christmas I things. I know. Um, you've been... Well, we've been going to a lot of basketball games. Well, we've had basketball almost many, every day. Many, many basketball games. And yeah. we've also been spending a lot of time cutting vegetables for vegan meals. Yes. So, Work. Like basketball, basketball. Like every day. I think Wednesday was the only day we didn't have basketball. And that was... What day? Wednesday. What yeah. we, I think we even have a practice. Yeah, late practice. So, anyway. So late it was... It's all been crazy. So, but thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out. All you that follow along. We appreciate you being here. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We do this every weekend. I try to do it every week. We've been pretty well, consistent. Yeah, we do Christmas yeah. every weekend since like March. Since March, yeah. So we're on a pretty good streak for every weekend. Um, we do this, we chat about life and sports and funny things. And I think we're gonna talk about Christmas a little bit today. Then we're gonna get into, we're gonna rip soccer. Oh, okay, fine. So Finding Griffey's gonna try to find soccer. Okay. So we've got the FIFA World Cup is going on. USA got beat yesterday. Yeah. Three to one got beat pretty bad by the Netherlands. Um, so they're out or how's it working? They're gone. Okay. They're out. Four more years until the next one. So wow. uh, but it's still fun to watch. Obviously the kids love soccer. We've enjoyed watching soccer. We, we're gonna probably watch more soccer with the World Cup. Uh, so we're gonna open up these Panini Prism um, blaster boxes. It's uh, FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Is that how you say it? Qatar? Qatar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I've seen some things that the, like the proper pronunciation of Qatar. Okay. What are they saying? I don't know. I didn't read the article, but I just saw the headline and I just wondered if we were all pronouncing it right or wrong. Well, you know, Ant A N T I G U A. Antigua. 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 So no so use. tricky. Okay. I know. I remember when my sister went there on vacation <laughs> and we thought it was Antigua, but then she got there and she's like, oh, it's actually Antigua. Okay. Antigua, Qatar. But Qatar, I don't know how else you would pronounce it. Q A T A R. Qatar. Yeah, it couldn't be Qua. No. I don't know you. So, anyway, uh, but again, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for being here. So, what's, uh, what, you got a Christmas shirt? I'm, I got, I think this is like the fifth time in a row I wore green on Cards and Coffee. Well, it's a baseball style shirt. Oh, okay, you got three quarters length sleeve. Yeah. I like that. Why was that a baseball style? I think it just because I don't know. Okay. I think it's just you know you'd like to have some type of you know keep your arm warm. Okay. So you need a little bit longer sleeve, but, but you, you didn't like... want it all the way down because you know you're okay. fielding the ball, you're throwing the ball. So. Well, my friend gave it to me, so I thought that's a baseball style. So I thought I'll wear it because we only have like four Saturdays, three Saturdays till Christmas. Or something. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. I know it's December the fourth. Is that yeah. right? Yes, December fourth. Yeah, so fourth, eleventh. 18th. Then Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, three more, three more, and then it's Christmas. So, hope everyone is um, doing well. Thanks again for being here. Anything you wanted to chat about? I mean, something? No, to... I was trying to find a, so a quiz about baseball and Christmas. But anyway, all these old timey like Norman Rockwell pictures came up about because uh, baseball is such an, like a piece of Americana that it's in a lot of Christmas. Yeah. Something about baseball is often in like. A Christmas, a classic American Christmas photo, okay. like a little boy getting a baseball for a gift or something like that, which okay. is very yeah. traditional. But. Okay. So what do you want for Christmas? Um. I ask you a quiz question. I you know I, I'm like one of those people that I just buy whatever I need, whenever I need it. So yeah. I don't like wait until I get gifts for Christmas because yeah. I get really impatient if I need something. But uh -huh. what do I want for Christmas? Well, I wanted a subscription to a vegan magazine. Okay, yep, you mentioned that. Yeah. And uh, um, perhaps some more Dutch oven type cooking okay. vessels because they vessels. are great. Okay. In Dutch oven. Yeah, we use or our... the large Dutch oven type. Yeah, yeah. Things. Um, more we'll fish green. Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I just I don't okay. know. So a vegan magazine. They actually have like a I vegan like like. I'm magazine? Like a, no. I don't know, but I just love learning about it. So, what about you? Um, I I just sing. I don't. I just enjoy just like giving to others, mm -hmm, yeah. whether it's you or the kids or whatever, and just. <sighs> we need Tupperware. 
Tupperware, yeah, we have struggles finding like dishes to send for lunches and to store food. Mm -hmm. I don't know, kitchen stuff, we like to cook, um, baseball card stuff, mm -hmm. you know, finding your feet. I don't know. I don't know. It's you know. We're terrible at this. We are. We're really bad. So let us know what you guys do for. What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Other than not the, that we can like. A vegan you. magazine. <laughs> yeah. I doubt anyone's gonna say a vegan magazine. Well, we appreciate. We love kind of having these conversations. We're gonna be leading up to Christmas. It's Advent. Uh, we do celebrate Christmas and what's leading up to it. Uh, this is the second Sunday in Advent, and. Uh, we've got uh, some Secret Santa stuff we're going to do with the kids uh, later today. We've got, um, yeah, just prepping for that time. So, and then just being around uh, for the holidays and where that leads us. So, thanks for being here. We're going to rip into this uh, FIFA World Cup Prism 2022, Qatar 2022. We're going to see what it's about. Maybe there's an auto, maybe there's some parallels, maybe we get some good hits. Who knows? Cool. Thanks for being here. We got the camera turned around, so let's get into this. You pick your box, and I'll let you go first. Okay. Here's your box cutter. Okay. Oh, you're picking oh. that one. Okay. So we got six packs in each. You know, you just stick a oh. finger in there. There you go. Ah, look at that. Six packs in each. We'll do three each. Okay. At a time. Four cards per pack, so there's not much in there. So what do we got? Six times four is twenty-four. So twenty-four cards. Yeah. Pretty. Um, Minimal. Small amount of be a pretty quick rip. So go ahead and do it, or you want to open yours? Uh, you go ahead and do your three, and then I'll go ahead and do my three. Okay. So can you name some players that we're looking for? No. No. Messi. Uh, he's in there. Yeah, I'm sure. Ronaldo, Cristiano. Yeah. Those Ooh, are the only two I know. Pronounce some names here. Oh jeez. Gadu, yeah. Michael Gadu, Diogo Costa. Oh, what does this mean? It's just a Japan card. Okay. Yon Summer. Okay. okay. Hold these. Look at these. I'm going to look at these while you're opening up yours. Okay. So I think it doesn't really give you odds of uh, what you're looking for. Hmm. But we're looking for Prism Silvers, Green Wave, Base Prism Blue Wave. All right. Angel Di Maria. Okay. Takumi Minamino. Oh, we got the uh, green. Uh, Rosnell Kimpembre. Okay. So that is. Yarami Pino. Blaster exclusive green wave. So that's what we're looking for. I do love soccer because I feel like it's like a universal language. All, yeah. Everybody no, loves soccer. Play it worldwide. You got one more pack. Oh, okay. So why these are rookies because World Cup is, uh, you know, pretty young. A lot of the players are young. You, know, you have some that are that have played for a few years, but uh -huh. for the most part, young guys. Nicolas Gonzalez, Saeed, Al Sheeb. Scores Club. So okay. Who's this guy? Casper Dolberg. From Denmark. And Matthew Ryan with one T. All right. Matthew with one T. I'm Matthew with two T's. All right. So we've got a green wave and a. Nothing much here. Uh, who knows? I mean, I don't, I'm not expecting too much out of here, but if you get an autograph. Fun, though, since it's like World Cup yeah, exactly. That's that's why I bought it. And uh, these were, I got three. I bought one. There was one, one box at one time. And then so I got that box. And then I got the, I got two more the other day when I was there. So I just picked these bottom three. So, but yeah, appreciate everyone being here. Thanks for checking us out. This is, you know, occasionally we'll do. How'd you get into these so easily? I mean, it wasn't very easy. It wasn't very easy, so I have to get the box. I did just do that. Yeah, it'll do it. Too. There you go. So let's see if we, who has the better box? Um, we don't really know. I mean, some of the main players we're looking for, but you know, we're looking for parallels and <coughs> um, they have autographs. Number cards? They have what? Numbered cards. They will have numbered card, yes. Mm -hmm. Gonzalo Plata. A rookie. Uh, Golo Conte. For France, Green Wave. That's an Alexander and Jiku for Ghana, and then Gale Gibral. So is that right? So, yeah. Gibral. Gibral. Gibral from Gibral. Switzerland. Let us know what you think about this product. If you like soccer, if you don't like soccer, um, 
we will continue to do various things occasionally, mostly baseball still, but, um, but this is fun to do something different. Another green wave, I think, back here. Phil Foden for England. We have Adu, Adul, Adul Kareem Hassan for Qatar, the host country. Green wave, Sung Yu Kim. Okay. Green wave, and then a Luis Suarez for Uruguay. Do you know where Uruguay is? Um, somewhere like near Paraguay. <laughs> Paraguay, that would be South America probably, is that right? I don't think so. You don't think Uruguay? Hey kids, where's Uruguay? Do you know what co continent Uruguay is? Africa. What's Brooke, is Brooks over there? I don't know. Vinicius Jr. from Brazil. These people are writing crazy. Noah Lang. We have a connections of Pedri and Gavi, two midfielders. And then we have Gavi. His name is just Gavi from Spain. So. Oh, no, South America. South America. See, I was right. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay, so your turn, your next three, and then okay. we'll get into, we got some 89 Donruss. We're going to still try to find Griffey, even though we are, I'm going to separate some of these rookies out. Uh, some of these guys are, are rookies, and, and they may not be uh, dominant players yet. Mr. Lundstrom, Jesus Manuel Corona. Enjoy. And I apologize for the state of my nails, folks. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with your nails? Well, it's about time that I get them. <clears throat> you know, people, I know these, I don't know how these women have time to go get their nails, like, maintained, like, weekly or every other week. This gel manicure happened before October, obviously. I mean, before Halloween. So, yeah. And I need to get them fixed. Now I am having trouble. <laughs> Do you need a box cutter? Um, okay. I guess I'm wasting time here. Okay. Let us know what you think about this product. That's you know, that's a fun rip. I'm we're, I'm pulling out the green waves okay. and some of the other parallels that we have. And Tony, one name. Williams. Is he Cuba? Spanish? No, Brazil. Because it was a Spaniard that had just one name. Okay. New Era. Okay. Yeah. Camille Miller. All right. Okay. So those over here. We'll go through and do a review um, of this product and some of the, I guess, some of the hits and inserts that we had. Do people in other countries collect cards? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a worldwide type deal. Okay. Birohin Kepke, Adam Baska, Ryan Garabambich, and Sergi Malenkovsan. Savik. Savik. All right. Down to the last three. Let's see. Just... We haven't even used this stand yet. I know. Because we don't even know what we're using. Well, I mean, we haven't really... We've got some green waves. Saving it for Griffey. Saving it for the Griffey that we're going to find in the... Uh, I'm having trouble here as well. I don't have great thing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That one just peeled right off upside down. Uh, Leandro Paradas from Argentina. Maya Yoshida from Japan. We have this was a, a different card. So this is maybe to see Phenom. It's a Phenom card. So this is a Serbian Dusan Lahovic. And then we have Francisco Calvo from Costa Rica. So your fingernails it's about time for Manny Manny Petty. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's, been, it's about Christmas time. I'm gonna get a deep red. Deep red. So we have a Thorgon Hazard. That's an interesting name from Belgium. Edson Alvarez from Mexico. We have a new era of Mill Smith Rowe from England. Insert and then a Timothy Wee from the United States, who unfortunately got beat yesterday. We were so hyped about. The U.S. and being in the knockout round, being, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, we were excited, thought this was going to be the year. We had a brunch party. They're, they're um, but they're young, yeah. you know, 
And that another one seems older. Very experienced, and you know, soccer has just become. You know, it's been it's becoming more and more popular. Obviously, our kids play a lot, and um, Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. It's starting to get some more, you know, much more popular popular here in the states, but um, just it's been worldwide for much longer. Let's say we have a blue parallel, so maybe I I, I will win the box war if that's what we're considering this, since I want to have maybe a number card. Mario Pasalic from Croatia. Akram Hassan Afif. From Qatar, we'll hold that card for last. We have an Ismalia, Ismaila Sar from Senegal, and the blue, and I guess it's just a blue wave, is Eduard Mindy from Senegal. It's not, no, it is numbered, it's numbered nice. out of 199. So we did get one numbered card out of here. Oh. So Eduard Mindy, okay. and he's not a rookie, but it looks like he's a, obviously a goalkeeper because he's got his big goalie gloves on. So anyway, let us know what you think about the PRISM FIFA World Cup, the Qatar 2020. Obviously, these are limited in the fact that this is one every four years that they have this tournament. So uh, let us know what you think about the product, if you like it. And uh, if you like soccer, tell us about that as well. We're going to get into the 89 Upper Deck. Actually, first, I'm going to go through some of the, I guess, more of the hits. So we have the greens. We have the Yuri. These are green wave. Uh, we have a rookie of Presnel Kimpembe from France. We have another rookie green wave of Alexander Chiku. And Sung Yu Kim green wave. All these are not numbered. So these are just kind of a parallel. And then we have the numbered Edward Mindy from Senegal, which is numbered out of 199. So that's... Um, those were the parallels. This, these are some of the inserts. We have the New Era of uh, Emil Smith Rowe. We had Kamal Miller, New Era from Canada. We had um, Scores Club. This is Casper Dolberg from Denmark. We have the connections of, not sure what the connections are, but these are two midfielders, Gavi and Pedra, Pedri. Looks like they play for the same club sure what I guess that's just uh, an insert card there and we are saw that no, uh, I don't think they're twins, twins. so anyway let us know what you think that's uh, that's FIFA World Cup 24 packs or 24 cards per box uh, let us know what you think okay. so you get into the Rick you open up too I'll open up too we'll go back to back Back to back, Jacks. Looking for Griffey. I haven't found Griffey in a while, but of course we didn't do a video all week either. So. Well, yeah. You found him. We found him a couple of times. New cards. We haven't found any yeah. old cards. Yeah, I haven't found any rookies. That's true. These look pretty well centered. These are. Yeah, the yeah. The fact that there's a rated rookie on the top doesn't give us much hope for oh. another rated rookie. But you know, who knows? Okay. Why right. would they, that's funny that they would put it on the top because now they put the good ones in the back. Do they not used to put the good ones in the back? I don't know. Um, yeah, they just kind of two MVP shoved cards. Shoved them in there. Just shoved them in there. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and everything's going well. Everyone's staying safe and healthy. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Yeah, we've had lots of illnesses in and around the house and the community and work. And rich Kidman. Oh, another Rich. Rich Gossage. Rich Goose Gossage, I have learned. I thought Rich Gossage and Goose Gossage were different people, but they're actually the same mm. person. It's just he goes by Goose, but his name is Rich. Okay. It's like Richard. Well, they had to small the, uh, lessen the, the font. font to get all that on there. All right. No Griffey for you. What? Okay. What's that? Oh, what was I you going to ask? No, I got it now. That was the, that's our position. Oh, yeah. IF. Do you know what IF means? Infill. Nice. <laughs> He's learning. You probably knew that anyway. Well, I mean. There's Fred McGriff. Lots of talk about oh, yeah. him getting into the Hall of Fame. I've been reading. Okay. Ozzie Smith, he is a Hall of Famer. Howard Johnson, Oral Hershiser. John Tudor. People used to have just such normal names. You know? Cal Ripken, another Hall of Famer. Oh, Fred, Don, Greg, John. Um, normal. That's a I mean, normal name. Well, that or Aura, Aurel. Uh, like, where is that like from? An old man name. <laughs> but there are a lot of like John, Tom, Greg, Sam. 
there are. These days, everybody tries Ken. to be so creative, <laughs> like so not just their names. All right, last pack magic. We appreciate you all being here as we wrap up this episode of Cards and Coffee. Looking for the Griffey. We've got a small chance of this purple. He's got a purple outline, so that could be. That's what you're looking for. Gary Carter, and then we have a Ruben Sierra and Steve Searcy. So not <clears throat> the rated rookie we were looking for there. Willie McGee, Tim Wallach, and George Bell, Kevin Brown. Fred Manrique, I like that name, mm -hmm. Manrique, and Randy Reddy. So thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out as we ripped into the Qatar 2022 Panini Prism blaster boxes. Let us know what you think. Uh, be on the lookout. We're going to get some videos recorded and uploaded, so stay tuned. We'll have more than one this week, I promise. So thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for all the love and support, and have a great rest of your Sunday. We'll see you soon. See you next time.